Well, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Um, for years and years and years, the music industry and, and, and the snakes who run it have always been in the driver's seat as it relates to being in control of the lion's share, the bulk of the revenue that's generated from record sales. Um, you could take this all the way back to the very beginning. Um, later on, with the implementation of publishing royalties and all that, they jumped on that and they found ways to trick artists or just outright never let artists know that or become aware that that pub that those publishing royalties even existed and they have lived and lived and lived off that for generations and generations all the way up to the present day um artists were making like literally literally pennies on the dollar off of um physical record sales for decades um even at a time where a CD was sell for $18 in a store, once the breakdown is broken down, the artist is always the last one, and, and, and the artist always was the one who received the least of that revenue. Now, as time went on and artists started to wise up and get a little smart in figuring out how to be um, in control and, and, and bringing in more of their money and the bulk of their money, the industry had to figure out ways to um, adjust. They had to figure out ways to to get to, to, to stay in the game, pretty much. So the 360 deal was created, and all these different things that would make it possible for the label to get a part of every revenue stream that an artist has. So it doesn't matter if I signed you to a recording contract. Mark that a recording contract a record deal that means that hey man if i decide to come out with a, with a with a clothing line if i decide to come out with my own brand of writing pens or whatever it is i decide to do if i'm in a movie if i'm in a commercial then the record label receives a percentage of that money even though what i'm doing has nothing to do with actually recording now fast forward to the modern time now we're in the era of digital sales and streaming. And I saw this um, this this picture, the picture that's on the, um, the thing, the thumbnail thing now, um, where Snoop Dogg revealed in the interview and said that he had only received $45,000 off of 1 billion streams. Now I didn't say one million streams with an M, I said one billion with a B. And when you think about that and do the math, now I, I, I haven't done the math. Your boy ain't the best mathematician in the world, but one of y'all are. One of y'all can break that down to see how uh, minuscule uh, that that really is. Um, one billion streams. And everybody who's been keeping their ears and eyes to this whole thing from the beginning knows that the streaming game is, is, is one of the biggest scams ever created in the music industry. But it was another way that the industry made the adjustment to figure out how can we continue to milk these artists. So companies like Spotify and other streaming companies and the record labels who are, are also uh, have, have a strong grip on the streaming they make billions and billions of dollars while the artists um, literally make pennies. And those pennies accumulate um, up into a few dollars. Even if you have acquired a million streams, five million streams, eight million streams, the money that the artists receive is almost um, it's pathetic. It's a joke. So to hear artists like Snoop Dogg, who's one of the most famous, one of the most accomplished, high-selling artists in the game, still a um, fixture in, in hip-hop and in pop culture, to know for a fact, when you hear that he said he got a billion streams, that's understood, of course. But $45,000 on a billion streams, when you know for a fact that uh, the platforms who those streams go through receive way, way more than that off of Snoop Dogg's work. So the question I'm asking is, 
that 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 y'all may have some some answers to y'all put them in the comment section what could be done what can be done what should be done from an artist perspective to um, make these payouts a little more balanced i've heard rumors about legislation being um, spoken about to try to equalize things make things a little better what do y'all think can or should be done to make this better because this is one of the um biggest robberies of all time um this whole streaming thing i've heard people talk about setting up their own streaming platforms to try to figure it out um i i would suggest that any fan now, now let me say this real quick i gotta throw this in now as a, a consumer of music it's hard for artists to blame a consumer of music who is only paying a nine or ten dollar subscription per month to Spotify, any of one of these uh, streaming services, and they can listen to anything they want, anytime they want, any artist, no, no matter how much. It's hard to blame the artist. I mean, the audience. You can't blame them because everybody's looking for the best deal, and no matter what it is that you buy. But at the end of the day, uh, I would say to any any fan base who's really dedicated to that artist, if you're a part of that artist's core audience, I would say find ways to make sure you purchase their music in a way that the money goes straight to the vein, the money goes straight to them, or they get the majority of it. Even if it's just a download that costs $10 for the album, even if you rocking physical copies, physical copies, a lot of artists are still doing them, like your big brother, um, just support in that way, even if you get the stream. Um, because if you, that, that's if you are a true fan of that artist. Now, if you just fly by night, hey, I guess I can't say nothing, but, you know, this is something that really needs to be dealt with and, and, and a brain trust needs to be put together to figure out how to make this thing better for the audit, for the artist, man. And we need to bring more attention to it. So tell me what y'all thoughts are, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno. I'll get into more detail on this probably on my podcast, the Underground Dialogue Podcast right here on YouTube. Y'all go subscribe. Catch y'all later on. Peace.